Hello YouTube, it is Kabusa WTF here, and here today I'll be showcasing my mods for Duke Nukem Forever. Now I do want to go ahead and say I know this game is hated by a vast majority, however I personally enjoyed this game so I decided to create mods for it. Now with that said, I do have two ISO mods I created for this game. One is modded binds for multiplayer and single player which I'll be showcasing first. The second is a modded XP lobby and easy challenges with only two modded binds. However, I'll get into that when I get to that part of the video. So first, I'm a uh, cut when I'm in the campaign. All right, guys. Now that I'm in the campaign, I'm gonna go ahead and run through the binds. The first bind I'm gonna show you is Toggle God Mode, and it also uh, enables multiplayer cheats. So the first button is LB. It enables God Mode, and it uh, toggles multiplayer cheats. So you can just ignore the server admin message, as you can see. God Mode off. God Mode on. Now I'm going to show you the back button. Uh, the back button toggles entities or uh, freeze frames, aka freeze AI. Uh, the actual name for it is called players only. So I'm just going to press it. As you can see, everything around me freezes besides me. Now I'm just going to disable it. Same thing happens with enemies. Once you enable this, their AI freezes. You can shoot them and they'll be dead uh, as soon as you disable uh, players only. So the next one I'm going to show you is it spawns all weapons and ammo. This is kind of a red herring because it doesn't actually spawn every single weapon. Uh, I know some of them are not that are not included are a cut minigun. Well, it's not really a cut. It's called minigun underscore BL. It's just humongous gun that you're not supposed to have and a jetpack. So if I press RB in single player, it's going to spawn all the weapons and ammo and it's going to make you in third person and it lags just for a little bit. So, in single player, these weapons do not really disappear, however, in multiplayer when you use this, the weapons do disappear, and I'll show you that when I get to the multiplayer side. <clears throat> and sorry guys if you hear me clear my throat a lot. Um, I am sick, so just bear with me, okay? Alright, and I'm just going to press RB again to disable third person, and it'll spawn more weapons. Now, if I press D-pad down, it'll toggle invisibility, which I'm just going to show you in this broken mirror. You see, D pad down, toggles my invisibility. D pad up, turns no clipping on and off. Now, for single player, this also um, this also toggle this also toggles the heat vision. So I'll show you how to uh, disable heat vision while you can no clip and everything. It's a bit tricky to get used to, but you'll understand how to do it once you uh, play around with no clip a little bit. So if I press D pad up, I'll be no clipping. Now I'm just going to go back in here and press d-pad up again and I'm out of no clip now what you want to do is spam d-pad up around three times one two three alright once you've done it three times you'll see you'll be no clipping and heat vision will be off now you want to spam d-pad up three more times one two three alright as you can see heat vision disabled and I'm out of no clip so I'm gonna go ahead and just fly out of the map here just go straight over here And I'm going to go ahead and show you the uh, the uh, freeze AI again. So I'm just going to press um, back button. As you can see, they freeze. Alright guys, and that's pretty much it for the uh, single player side. D-pad left spawns a bot. However, it only works in multiplayer, but I'll cut back here when I'm in the multiplayer side. Alright guys, now that we're in a... Uh, multiplayer lobby here uh, it, you need to be host for this so press LB it makes you admin as you can see right there I became a server admin you press LB again it will toggle god mode on press it again god mode off god mode on now if you press um, back button to toggle freeze AI in multiplayer this works a little differently than it does in single player because in multiplayer there's not a whole lot that can get frozen um, as far as entities and stuff go. However, if you're playing Capture the Babe, which is technically Capture the Flag, uh, the Capture the Babes, they, um, they get frozen, Gibbs get frozen, your ammo gets frozen in the air. Now I'm just going to turn it off, as you can see. So that's just an example of what pl uh, players only, aka Freeze AI, does in multiplayer. RB, uh, same as in single player, toggle star person and spawns all weapons. The only issue with it in multiplayer is the weapons tend to disappear really fast. 
so it's random on which weapons you can actually grab but it is here uh, if you do want to use it it is pretty useful somewhat um, d-pad down toggles your invisibility rba again toggles weapons and toggles um, uh, third person trying to grab uh, i missed it okay whatever uh, d-pad up toggles uh, no clip however if you're just standing still and you enable it you can't do anything and ignore the clipping messages they're reversed in uh, multiplayer sometimes they'll be in reverse in single player also so just ignore this on-screen text so in order to get no clip working properly in multiplayer you have to be moving forward and then enable no clip as you can see now I am now no clipping and you can no clip out of the map to see if there's anything hidden I really didn't find a whole lot of useful stuff uh, now in the single player campaign you can actually find a lot of interesting stuff out of the maps um, and I do want to say is I don't know if these mods are compatible or not with the DLC I have not tested so if someone wants to test all of this with the DLC uh, please do so and get back to me uh, and I need it tested on the DLC multiplayer maps and the uh, Doctor Who clone me uh, campaign which after this video I'll actually probably go either buy them or download them from my RGH I haven't decided which one I want to do yet but that's d-pad and I mean that was no clip and another interesting one is d-pad left d-pad left spawns a bot and this actually works in an online game and with other players in your game the only issue with bots is they're not really super hard to kill it's just the bots are really really, really cheaty it's like they have aimbot and they're they spawn randomly with mixed power-ups and you'll, you'll just see what I mean I'm just gonna spawn a few of them <clears throat> so it's best to have god mode on when you're facing bots and the game can get somewhat laggy and your controller will just randomly vibrate. It's just a side effect to all this happening, so just ignore it. All right, as you can see, I'm already getting demolished and they're not even near me. Well, I mean they are, but like they're not right here beside me and they have super good aiming. Like like I said, bots are very cheaty in multiplayer, but for anyone who wants to play with bots with god mode enabled, you can go ahead. Or if you just want to go host an online game with one of your friends and spawn a bunch of bots to wreck them, I guess you can, that's cool too. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for the uh, the uh, bind mods. Now, the second ISO mod I'm going to be showcasing today is a uh, XP lobby mod and easy challenges. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump straight to that. All right, guys, I'm back on the second ISO mod for Duke Nukem Forever that I have created. This one is a multiplayer XP lobby and easy challenges. The cool thing about this is the XP lobby mod actually works for everyone who joins your game. So as soon as they get one kill, they're instant level 42, which I will show you on a dummy online account where I get max rank with just one kill. Um, right now, I'm just going to go to Xbox Live, I'm going to go down to player progression, I'm going to go down to challenges, and as you can see, the challenges all say one out of one. Uh, I could not make them auto unlock. I apologize about that. However, if you go down to ones that are not unlocked, it'll say get 10 kills with a trip mine, uh, and it'll say zero out of one. All you have to do on every single one of these, watch your steps, is just get one kill with a trip mine, and you'll get all these challenges complete. So these challenges are very, very easy to complete now. The only one I didn't make one out of one is the uh, is the um, the secret area challenges because those are already one out of one and the main challenge where you found all secret areas for multiplayer I just left it alone so you can now get challenges done very very easily and see these how they'll say like 384 out of one and stuff they will look messed up to you but don't worry all you have to do is go into a game and just free fall like just fall off the edge of a map or off a bridge and you'll get free fall and complete no problem. Same thing with mar Marathon, all you gotta do is run for about 10 seconds and you'll get all the Marathon challenges. Now I will be showing you uh, some of these easy challenges and me getting instant level 42 um, with the XP Lobby mod on my dummy online account. <clears throat> so right now I'm just showcasing that all the challenges are 0 out of 1. Cool thing about these, and even though they say again like 2160 out of 1, just ignore them. As soon as you go into like a Duke match, uh, all you gotta do is sit and run around for about 30 seconds to a minute and you'll get it unlocked. Um, but the cool thing about these challenges is they do stick. If you go back to playing just normal Duke Nukem Forever, uh, all of your challenges stick regardless of your progress on the challenge. 
Now, I can't promise that the progress will not reset the challenge. However, I have played around with this challenge mod for, I don't know, a few days now. And they've never reset on me. So, just something to throw up there. But now, I'm going to go show you um, me hosting the XP lobby. Alright guys, now that I'm in online lobby, as you can see I'm level 1 in the top left. Um, this is online, and it is... Uh, my XP lobby mod. I just have to. Let's see. Can I change teams? Yes, I can. Let's see. I gotta find my uh, my player to kill. And you'll see what I mean by the XP lobby mod. All right, as you can see right there, that's my player to kill. I'm just gonna kill him. It's gonna be an instant. As you can see, I just got up to level 42. Alright, everything will start unlocking and everything. And that's pretty much it for the XP Lobby mod. Now, uh, I just killed my host player. Uh, if you're a host, though, uh, you can press the uh, back button. The back button enables cheats and multiplayer spawns a bot and um, d-pad up would be god mode but that's only for host player so I just thought it would be pretty interesting I'm just gonna be running around for a second after all my items unlock and everything and I'll come back when I can do an easy challenge Alright, what you just saw was the uh, XP Lobby, which uh, that was on my dummy account. It was off host. So anyone who joins my game and gets one kill, they'll automatically become level 42. However, for their stats to stick, hosts must leave the game or the game must, or the game timer must run out. Also, as you also saw, you saw all that weird text when they uh, got the kill and it said Caboose WTF at the end. Um, however, if, on host side, if you press the back button, uh, you'll become server admin and you'll spawn a bot. <clears throat> so if you press d-pad up you also get god mode. So I'm just going to turn god mode on and as you can see I also got my easy challenge by just walking I mean uh, by falling which I just did I died and some fell a little bit. Anyways as you can see my easy challenges are taking place and now and uh, I'm gonna show you what the XP lobby mod text shows for host and I'm just gonna melee as you can see XP lobby mod and caboose easy challenge alright guys and that's pretty much it for the uh, the XP lobby mod and the simple binds uh, the main reason I even added bots to be spawnable cheats to be enabled and god mode is because if you go host an online match and you can't find any players or you don't have a friend to play with, you can always do it with bots and get your easy challenges that way also. And it does work the exact same as if it was another person. So anyway guys, come rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Well, let me jump back in for a second. The main reason it's two ISO mods is because it uses the exact same file. So the binds and the XP are the same file. I didn't combine it all in one because a lot of the bind buttons, aka d-pad up, down, left, and right, those buttons actually are very helpful when it comes to completing challenges. So that's why I didn't include um, all of this as just one single mod altogether because you wouldn't be able to complete a lot of challenges with my easy challenge mod. So hopefully that just helps you guys out a little bit. And just so you know, to even uh, get XP or do challenges you have to host an online like ranked match through quick match and hope you get paired up with your friend or invite your friend to the game you can't get challenges or XP to be completed when um, you're just hosting a private game so anyway guys hope hope that helps with a little bit of understanding how this mod works so. oh yeah and uh, just before I forget one last uh, mod that's on both ISO mods is I have enabled the pre-order slash dev t-shirts. I'm pretty sure they're just the pre-order t-shirts, um, as you can see now. So I'll put them on. However, I don't have the pre-order DLC, so uh, if anyone can confirm that these are just all pre-order t-shirts, let me know. If not, I'm going to classify them as all pre-order slash dev. 
I think originally the pre-order shirts were just five, but this has seven. Um, but anyways, uh, that's it, guys. So comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.